Hi guys, SimUK here. Nice chilled out song here. I like it. I don't know if you like it, but it kind of encapsulates what I feel Snowtopia is. It's a very fun, casual, relaxed, chilled out experience. I really, really like this game. It goes on sale today. Unfortunately, I don't have a sale price for you at the moment. The devs in the last few days before release are probably frantically pulling their hair out, trying to fix all the bugs that there still are in the game because this is not a fully released game. This is in early access and it's a really good little game. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I just love this game. It's so good. If you're looking for a chilled out, relaxed, snow peak creation game, this is, I just think, so, so good. I was, I was going to say damn near perfect, but I don't know what the perfect game would be. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven levels currently. And um, it appears that there's going to be... Uh... <laughs> okay, the music's just taking a turn for the worst. Uh, it appears there's going to be a, um, a lot of modding options. Let's just jump in a game here. Because that, that music was starting to get a bit, whew, bit down and dirty, which is not what I was really looking for. So, this is the kind of polygon. I'm a, I'm a big fan of polygon uh, creation. I know a lot of people won't be. And if that's really not your thing, then you know I can't really say much that will convince you that this game is great. But it really is fantastic. Um, it's quirky, it's got a whole load of unique controls and options available to it. I played it for about, probably about two and a half, three hours yesterday. Enjoyed every minute of it, got into a bug that I couldn't fix, um, which was a bit of a shame. But um, I'll, I'll try not to recreate that scenario that uh, brought about that bug. But um, yeah, okay, so today we're just going to get into it i'm just going to sort of talk you through the gameplay and um we'll see how we get on i'm not going to rush it i'm just going to take it nice and easy um this is the tutorial hi what are you doing out here in the middle of nowhere are you lost there's nothing but snow around here what am i doing here i like starting the day with a nice bracing walk in the icy air oh so you you want to build the ski resort of your dreams in that case you've come to the right place to start with, take a trip around the mountain and study its relief. You can always hover your cursor over the entries in this list to get more information or open the game help indicated by a question mark. So this is step one of nine. It's like a, um, a written tutorial that you go through. Now, I'm going to tell you straight off the bat, yesterday when I started playing, the tutorial at some point paused itself. And when it's paused both the pause button and the play button are highlighted now to me it just looked like the play button was highlighted and i couldn't understand why there were no skiers on any of my slopes and i was going to say it's a great game but it's missing something really important real skiers well thankfully i found out that the pause button was pressed and i unpaused the button having built the most elaborate complex complex that you'll ever see in the world <laughs> trying ever more to increase satisfaction whilst nobody was here, uh, and then finally figured out that if I press play, and then everybody turned up, and the place just went mad with skiers everywhere. It was brilliant. Today I'm going to try and do it properly. So, um, we'll click continue. Down here in the bottom right-hand corner, this is your list of things that you need to do. And if you hover over these little question marks here, it gives you some advice about how you can uh, achieve these goals now there are some elements in the game I think need a bit of work but like I say it's in early access middle mouse button to rotate and twist and tilt and so on and so on scroll in and scroll out right click and move and then we click on this big old button down here to click the last little thing and see the game help. Very good. Well, 
Not bad for a start. How dumb would you look if you didn't know how to get about? Anyway, don't worry. I've been making a few calls and some folks are really excited about all this and want to help out. You could use a few more helping hands around here, right? Confirm. So, it's... I'll tell you in a second. A whole team has volunteered to help you out. Now, what they need to uh, set to work are the materials and the logistics. Once you have a functional builder's lodge, you can construct the rest of your ski area. Place the building beside the zone you wish to make your ski area. Builders will thus have to a shorter... Will thus have a... A few typos. Builders will thus have a shorter distance to reach the zone they are constructing. So the way things are written sometimes is a little bit mismatched, I guess. But there's quite a lot of detail about every single aspect of the uh, creation process. And you can see there, this is what the skiers look like. It's kind of comical, um, but they really do do the job. And they can even get injured and hurt themselves. So um, it's, it's quite cool. The ski lifts, um, I think there's maybe four or five different versions of ski lift. They're pretty awesome as well. And they're integral to your creation, to be honest. Um, now, this is one area where I think the game lacks a bit of clarity. You've got ski like groups of skiers, basically, like the sport club kids. And you've got their skiing ability. And you kind of need to create ski slopes that adhere to their desires. And their desires are split up into sport, comfort and environment. Now, environment is how nice it looks. Comfort is, I assume, how many perks, like, um, say, a hot dog stand or a cup of tea at the, top of the, at the top of the slope, something like that. And then you've got sport. Now, I don't really know what sport means. I guess how challenging the route is, something like that. This is the only area in the game that I don't fully grasp. But uh, let's follow on with the tutorial and it will all make sense. So this is our starting place and oddly, this building here, unlike every other RTS type game in the world, there's nothing you can do here. You can't open or close the resort or anything at all. There is no involvement whatsoever. The only thing that you work on is this semicircle. And uh, everything has to be connected or returned to this. If we just have, have a look at the slopes and stuff. See the map's relatively big. I mean, when you see the size of a single slope, you'll realize just how many different connotations you can create here. But uh, before we get into that, let's uh, open the construction menu. That's down here. Select a builder's lodge. So these guys, there's no money in this game, by the way. Um, all of your employees are uh, volunteers, and you get volunteers up here. Where, where are the volunteers? There they are. So at the moment we have six volunteers, um, and we can have a maximum of 60. And that's quite prohibitive, actually. But um, every 34 minutes or 33 seconds, you'll get a new volunteer. But only, only if you're... Uh, delivering satisfaction so uh, yeah these are the people who are staying with us at, at the moment the snow struck lovers the sports club kids and the new fallen snow they're all at 45 percent it's quite important that we look at their needs individually and try and uh, try and adhere to them see nothing ever changes on this which is I think quite confusing. I'm sure it makes sense once you figure it out, but I've, I've not quite mastered it yet. So, we're going to uh, select the Builder's Lodge, and it's from here where things get built. So, if I put the Builder's Lodge here, and then start building over this side, then they've got to walk all the way over here before they can start building, and they've only got a certain amount of energy before they go home. So, just bear that in mind. Wherever you're going to start, it's probably a good idea to use this thing. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and build right up the middle here. 
and then utilize all of this space. And these are going to be sort of small beginner style. Might have one coming down the back here. That would be pretty cool. So if I can get like an, a beginner's, a mediocre, a medium, a medium hard, and then a super hard down here, then I'll be one very happy bunny. So I'm going to put this here so it's not in the way. Once you've clicked it once, you can rotate it anywhere you like. And as long as it's still yellow, then you're good. And you see that the semicircle has grown to encompass that building. So if we now build the lodge and assign a volunteer. So if we click on it, then we come up here and we assign a volunteer. We only need one for now. Should we go two? We'll go two when the game lets us. There you go. Everything is set to launch your first construction site. Take a moment to stand back and contemplate the mountainside. Imagine the magnificent ski resort that will soon be sitting on there. Slopes, ski lifts and also untouched areas of natural beauty. I can't wait, can you? That's quite an important little tip there. Areas of natural beauty that you don't put stuff on, basically. Holy snowflakes! A ski resort in my own backyard. It's like a dream come true. Can you help out? Please say, I can. I can do absolutely anything. Where do I start? Don't do your head in about it. A ski toe and slope are all I need to keep me happy. If skiers don't show up despite your best efforts, there must be a problem with the connection between the access point, the slope and the ski lift. Or the ski lift could be closed. So that's the kind of... I said to you before, the game was paused and I went off on this tangent trying to figure out why the uh, connection between the access point, the slope and the ski lift weren't right. And I built like 20 different slopes and... Yeah. It was just that it was paused. It didn't seem paused, but it was. Alrighty, so let's begin with the one person fixed two. You see how it goes white? So you can place it anywhere that's white, anywhere that's white, but it needs to connect to the existing resort. We'll go red if you can't place it. One of the other issues I've discovered is that that error message that pops up. Uh, sometimes goes off screen, like now. Where's that message gone? And I think it's because I'm playing in 4K. But uh, in case you don't see the error, there's one little bug right there. Just to, get, just, just to annoy you when you're trying to do something. I wonder if I rotate that way and do it. No, see? Sometimes you just cannot see the error message. Which is a little frustrating. Right, so I'm going to try and put this smack bang in the middle. As you can see, finding a spot where you can actually use it is a little harder than you might hope. I'm going to try something different. Yay! There we go. So I've piggybacked them and I've created this little connection point in the middle. Now everything needs to have, well everything needs to be built first of all. You can see the little yellow line is coming up which means it's being built. And everything can have, um, what's the right way of explaining this? Everything needs to have a volunteer, a minimum of one volunteer in order for it to actively work. I really kind of need another little one just coming up here. Imagine that as a little slope. Oh. Yeah, that could be great. I could come around the side there. Mm, the only problem is, I don't know if I'd have enough space to get back here. We'll have to see how that goes. Now, this is called a ski drag, which effectively um, drags you along the floor. So you cannot have a ski route which goes underneath these because... They would collide. There you go. See, that's up and running. Pretty exciting, huh? And there's nobody here yet. And I assume that's because the game is paused. But, I mean, does that look like it's paused to you, or does that look like it's playing? Pretty sure time is going up. 
Maybe when we get a route in, we'll see some people. Right, build a ski lift, build a slope. Okay, so let's do something real basic to start with. Actually, I want to do a large... So you've got three options. You've got narrow, eight metres wide. You've got 12 metres and you've got 18 metres. Which is pretty flipping large. Now what I really, really do like about this is the way that it color codes the gradient so you can see at the top there we've got a bit of green green is beginner blue is sort of mediocre medium and then green again is is mediocre and if i sort of bring it over this way so you've got some white bits white bits are flat bits but you have no incline whatsoever um so ideally you want to kind of keep it all green because I'm trying to make this a green slope for the absolute beginners. So the more I can keep it green, the better. So that's a bit too blue. Just right click if you want to go back a stage. Yeah, that does go downhill pretty quick there, doesn't it? Well, there we go. That's, that's a bit more green. And there's a little bit of blue. There we go. Double click at the end, and there is our first slope, guys. And I think you'll agree that's really rather gentle. It's nice and wide. There's no difficult terrain to navigate. It's, it's going to be nice and relaxed. Everything's going to be good. Right. Build a slope. Well, uh, okay. The slope is being built. Greet your first skiers and select a skier. So let's just wait for some skiers to come out of the magical building of skiers. Any minute now. Very excited. There we go. And here we have some skiers. I don't believe it. The first skiers have already come to your resort. Look at them, lining up for the ski lift. They make their way up, then whoosh. They zip straight back down. Ha <laughs> ha. Some of them are really bad. Even I can ski better than that. Anyway, I've got to go. I have a sudden hankering to hit the slopes. Now, the only thing I can think of that you can't really do... Oh, goodness me is ski yourself. Uh, I think that would be quite nice if you have uh, the ability to ski down your own slopes that you've made, and maybe even get injured. I mean, why not? Go on, savor the moment with a slope, a ski lift and skis on your feet. What could possibly ruin your day? Well, I'll tell you, fear, that's what. And if I don't get my adrenaline pumping, I get bored. Let's go skiing, it'll be so much fun, everybody says. Is it too much to ask to have slopes adapted to our level? At this stage of the game, skiers are going to start looking for a challenge, i.e. slopes suited to their ability, but not too tricky either. During construction, pay attention to how steep your slopes are and try to make them as uniform as possible. So basically that means don't mix and match. Don't have a super hardcore bit on a beginner's ski slope. Right, here we go. This is officially our first skier. You can see he's got a little green icon above his head. And uh, we're just going to follow him down. Because that, also that's one of our tasks down here. I've got some coffee here, guys, so please excuse me whilst I have a little sip. It's early in the morning. I've been listening to the wife and the daughter argue all morning. And I thought, hmm, it's time for some Snowtopia. Oh, satisfaction's got up to 63%. That's quite nice. So 
you can see that this guy here, he doesn't find this particularly challenging, which is interesting because he hasn't actually gone down it yet, but whatever. He is a level blue. He's mastered the basics. So this slope really isn't for him. We need to think about building a blue slope for people like this guy pretty much straight away. He's here for nine days. So there's nine hours. Maybe he's, he's here just for the day. You can see he's going up the slope. And there's the very, very start of the slope. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'll be excited for you. Now that ski lift there isn't currently active, but it will be in a moment. We put in ski slope number two. Here they go. Beginner's slope. Nice and easy. How cool is this? Nearly crashed. Learned the basics, have you? Good job. Oh, look how many people we've got. Look, look, look. Ah, oh, look, people are getting frustrated and annoyed because it's taking too long for them to get up there. We definitely... <clears throat> We definitely need, <laughs> we definitely need a faster ski lift operation in place, which is a bit of a concern because this is how I broke the game the other day. But we'll try. Okay, so we're going to destroy this, and now nobody can ski anywhere. Right now, everybody's upset. This is how I broke it yesterday. But I'm going to try and do it. I'm going to try and do it properly this time. Ready? Ah, see, this is the problem. Ay, 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 ay. Now, this ski is kind of, well, left on his own, to his own devices. He doesn't know where to go. He's kind of stuck. He's going to be even more stuck now. Look at that. Now he's completely on his own. <laughs> Hopefully, he'll just ski down here back to the base. It seems to be meandering his way down, which is good. So we've got all these skiers now who absolutely hate us. But, you know, they were complaining, weren't they? Let's have this go all the way up there. Yeah, I like that. See, now the problem we have is that ski slopes need to be connected at both ends, and this one isn't anymore, so I'm going to have to destroy it. Which means I don't know what's going to happen to this guy. I think he's just going to make his way back down to base. Which is fine. As long as he makes it, I guess. Can I... This is... See, now, now I'm experimenting myself. Can I start a ski slope? No, I can't. I have to start it from all the way up here. Which means... That I haven't really built the beginner's slope that I wanted. So maybe we're going to have to have two slopes. We'll have to have the beginner's ski slope going up this way. It's all trial and error, guys. There's no right or wrong answer. Well, that gets a bit severe down there, doesn't it? That's not the nice, gentle uh, green that I had a minute ago. Oh, that's even worse. Obviously, you can see contours. I suppose there is a bit of a whew, moment going on there, isn't there? Can I perhaps just... So I'm, so I'm just going off my own little tangent here, guys. I do apologize. 
just enjoying myself now. Just playing the game. Chilling out a bit. Pretending I have some idea of what I'm doing. So that's kind of... Uh, that's a little frustrating. It's a little frustrating. I've kind of created uh, a rather enviable position of blue slopes when I was going for green. You can see it goes black there. That's like, that's such a sudden downhill slant that people are going to, beginners especially, are going to panic. There's a scary bit in the middle there, but it's mostly okay. Just trying to get that. There we go. Okay, so that's not as nice and gentle as the first, first one I made. I'm going to have to think of another way of doing that. This one looks better. It's pretty green. It's mostly green. And it's really long as well. Perfect for beginners. So they can just ski, 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 ski. All the way home. That's a little frustrating. So we finally got ourselves a little green slope. Now, there's something else I suppose I need to show you. Uh, right, let's get this active. See if we can't get back some of those skiers. Here they go. Right, guys, we've got, <laughs> we've got one that works. Come back. Please come back. Please come back and try again. There you go. Now, they're all going to get annoyed because we've got exactly the same problem that we had the first time. But you can see that the double-tiered gondola-type things, they really only work on very long stretches. These kind of short stretches, they're no good, uh, really, for double-tiered systems like that. So everybody's going up, even though that there's no slopes up here at the moment. I'm going to turn this one on as well. So when they get to the top, they're going to decide, do they want the slightly scary blue or the more relaxed green? And they should split when they get to the top. That's the plan. You see, people are going to get frustrated. So what we're going to do at the top here, I'm going totally off tangent here. We're going to put a high altitude food kiosk right here. And we're going to put, this is important, okay. A ski patrol lodge. Now this is basically an experienced skier who um, makes sure people are safe. So they should feel safe and pampered and relaxed when they get to the top here. That's the idea. That's the plan. Right, let's follow this first person down. Because I like this bit. Oh! I like this bit, but I can't do it properly. There we go. Oh, whoa! See, there's a scary bit there. Fortunately, she's got these lovely tree trunks either side of her to break her face if she... I mean, break her fall if she loses control. There we go. I mean, that's a very, very short slope. Um, and I'm sure that's not really going to tick a lot of boxes. Uh, what's wrong with this one? Oh, it's been it's being built as we speak. Let's get some of our assistance on these things here. Taking their time, aren't they? 
There you go. It's starting to come on. All right. So we've got... If you click on a route, you can see that it's got um, perceived difficulty. So this is a blue. This is like... A, it's half green, half blue, which is pretty good, actually, um, because it's meant to be like a step up from green. So half blue and half green is, I think, perfect. This one here, when it's finished, should be green. And what that does is that indicates what level of difficulty the slope is. So up the top here, I'm thinking we're going to have something a bit more demanding. Actually, let's go for a normal width here. See, it's a bit red. Bit of red. That's okay. I'm really going to try and use as much of the slope as I can. So this is like my step up from blue with a couple of red bits in it. Whoa, just to get the old blood pumping. And you can see that we can go underneath because of the... Uh, the type of ski lift that we've used. Cool! So that's like three tiers of difficulty. Let's have a look at this one. Is it green? Yes, it is. Look at that. That's 90% green with a tiny little bit of blue in it. That's perfect for beginners. Right, let's get this lift on. Now, if there are any skilled skiers, they're going to be wanting to go on this one. Or this one. But, I mean, this blue is very short. This is a bit better because it's so ziggity-zaggity. But um, this blue one is definitely short. This is definitely, like, beginner plus one. Or the brave beginner. But we're also going to have two very scary routes. I'm going to do these now. First one is going to be very much. Look at that, it's got a bit of black in it. Hey, nice. Let's keep it, definitely keep it red. Red with a little bit of black. Finishes off pretty, pretty rumbunctiously. Well, pretty lapsadaisically, I should say. And this one, oh boy, this one. Impossible to build an uphill slope. Oh, you're kidding me! Oh no, there's a slight uphill moment there. Don't tell me I'm not going to be able to build my super scary... Oh, don't you do this to me, game. I didn't spot that. All I need to do is find a route. Just over that first little lip. Well, I know what I can do. I can build something. So let's build... Let's build a ski patrol lodge. Just there. And that expands the width of the thing. And now hopefully... Yay! Fixed it. Fixed it for the big skit. I don't know what that means. Um, okay, let's keep it... Let's keep it exciting and scary all the way across. Where can we go from here? There's a bit of blue. Oh, wow. It starts off really scary at the top, and then it kind of... It just pans out and gets a bit boring. Okay, there's a bit more red. Let's try and get as much red on it as we can. Whoa! And what you can do, which I think is cool, is you can sort of join up with other routes as well. So that you've got, you know, 
a logical finish to slopes. Okay, so we fixed that. So I showed you a few little tips there, a few little tricks to make things work. And I mean, that's uh, quite a lot of slopes. If I come over here and click on lines, you get some idea of how many people are going. Look, nobody's going on this one now. Oh, there's one person waiting. So how many people are waiting on the ski lift lines? Nobody, but there are people skiing, which is nice. Attendance, you can see where the routes are themselves, how popular they are. I think um, I think orange is probably better than green. I think green is nobody. Appeal. So the whole place looks nice. That's that's uh, where you get your environmental rating from. Right. So I'm just gonna make sure that everything is turned on and working okay we do need a little something down here which I'm going to build now oh maybe I'm not because I can't squeeze it in oh look how frustrating that is that so nearly fits there hey Resultio. so these basically any sort of buildings are frowned upon and disliked but I mean without that snowmobile these slopes are not going to stay usable so that's important and we also need a mechanics workshop, which again looks unsightly, but it's an essential part of any ski resort. So I'm just going to jump in and get those done now. Now, to complete this and move on to the next thing, we need to select a skier and then look at their history. Don't get too carried away. This first victory could also be your last. The toughest challenge is still to come. Keeping your skiers happy so they come back tomorrow. Each time they return, they have a higher chance of joining the volunteer force and helping you run the resort. So basically, that's just explaining this. If people are happy, then they'll come back and they'll basically volunteer to work on your resort for you. So you don't have to pay anyone. There's no hiring or firing or wages or anything like that. Believe an old ski dog. Skiers must get plenty of rest to be able to get the most out of the slopes and rise to the challenges. Without energy reserves, people cannot ski. High altitude food kiosks are a little rustic, but they're a great place to relax. Food kiosks and ski toes restore the energy of skiers who use them. Place them in the path of skiers and in sufficient numbers so that skiers can use them. Now that's better, no? Skiing needs energy. <laughs> so think about taking a rest from time to time. Who knows, maybe you'll appeal to people in search of comfort, but for the time being, what you need is slopes. Now, what we've got here... Oh, dear. There's nothing like skiing down velvety snow, beholding the majesty of the snow-clad peaks, but it'd be more relaxing if the slopes weren't littered with injured skiers. Can't you hear their cries of pain echoing through the valleys? With patrollers, snow groomers and mechanics, I'll feel a lot safer. That's everything I've just built, by the way. Volunteers from the maintenance building sally forth to help skiers and installations that need their services. Build enough of them to keep your resort safe. So this is the resort itself. And as you progress, um, you unlock new things. Now, these are basically types of skiers. Um, and they'll all have individual needs and you can see we're slowly moving towards this we've got to get a profile of 50 I'm not entirely sure where the profile 50 comes from um, in fact it's 50 for all of them and we'll unlock new people so we'll have more people at the resort that's basically it research now this is something that uh, is pretty self-explanatory really we build a research shop and then we can research certain elements and unlock tiers and uh, have ski lifts that climb greater slopes a lot quicker a lot safer uh, and then we've got like things like soup bars <clears throat> small shelter dedicated storage area that kind of thing all these kind of upgrades and um, again they're pretty straightforward so this super scary one is nearly built we come up here to our slopes in a second. So we've got one easy and three average. I'm hoping this is going to be a difficult slope. 
and then at some point we're going to have to make a very difficult slope. Have a look at safety. Where do people feel safe? Yeah, safety, safety. I don't think you can do more than that, to be honest with you. Right, that's not quite finished. Oh, we got our first skiers up here. Look at that. What a fantastic little route down. To love it. It's going to have another go. Look at that. He enjoyed it so much. He's going up again. And you can see there's not much of a queue here. There's quite a queue here. But um, there's not really much I could do about that. I could put a second ski lift in, maybe. People are just going to have to be patient, I think. But, uh, yeah. I mean, that's the crux of it, guys. We're building these things. They'll slowly... You can, obviously, speed up time down here. But um, that depends on whether or not you're trying to rush it. So let's have a look at our slopes. So we've got... Ah, oh, blast. We didn't quite get red. Now, that can change. Um, I noticed yesterday I bought one that was blue. And when I looked at it again later, it had been upgraded to red. So people felt it was more difficult. But, um, yeah, I think, I think we've got a good collection of beginner slopes over here. You can see this one's got elements of black, a little bit of red, mostly blue, and quite probably too much green to really push it into, uh, into the red zone. But, um, yeah, I think this whole area here is perfect for beginners. So you've got absolute beginners, confident beginners, more advanced, those who actually know how to ski, and then those who are about ready to go on the big slopes. And by big slopes, I'm talking, you know, this. I mean, look at that. That would be, that would be perfect, wouldn't it? How exciting would that be? That looks like frightening as hell. That's what that looks like <laughs> to me, anyway. I would be petrified. But uh, yeah, this is it, guys. Obviously, there's more stuff that you can unlock and more things you can do, but uh, that's the first look. I think I've probably uh, probably done the game a bit of justice. I've shown you almost all of the key features, all of the most relevant things. You can, of course, as you research, get new types of lifts, like gondolas and such. You can see... Uh, the breakdown of all of our employees, basically. Services that we offer. The visitors, 75%, 69%, 74%. How many skiers do we have? 80. At some point, we're going to have to get that up to 150. Now, you can see, <coughs> excuse me, that the snow-struck lovers, um, they're not really experiencing enough challenge. What I've built so far is comfortable and it looks nice but um, it's not challenging enough so uh, we definitely need to do something about that and these guys definitely they feel underwhelmed but the new fallen snow these are beginners they're a lot more happy I mean not completely happy I don't understand because if I was a beginner there are definitely some places I wouldn't want to be skiing down all right let's get this open that ticks that box, and then we just need this one to tick this box. And uh, I'll probably wrap this episode up at that point. And if you'd like to see more, please do head over. Uh, if you're not already watching us on Sim UK uh, Strategy, then please do earmark that uh, YouTube channel because it does focus on strategy games like this. And there's quite a few that I've got in my collection and coming out soon that I want to uh, add onto the onto the channel. So if this is something you've enjoyed watching, hopefully it's a nice chilled out experience and you can see the majesty of it. I mean, 
I have tapped into one very small section of this map and there are seven sections seven maps rather presumably some of them may be a bit larger and um, yeah this is really really a very accomplished early access game and if the devs listen to the community and um, continue to produce the quality that they have produced thus far then this is going to be a classic I think I made a list of all the accidents that can happen in a ski resort. With snow groomers, patrollers and mechanics, the number drops from 3,602 possible causes down to 2,933. That's better than 67% of resorts that I've been to. I think that's a joke. I think that's a joke. Um, but yes, there we go, guys. Structure upgrades, it's good, but I think we should be a little more ambitious. The ski lifts could go twice as fast and twice as high. The groomers could groom twice as fast and the restaurants could serve twice as many meals. You should check out the latest technologies. It's crazy, crazy what people are inventing nowadays. The research laboratory is a unique building. You can assign volunteers to research upgrades to the resort infrastructure. And that's what I was telling you about two minutes ago. But I'm going to wrap up here, guys, because um, I think I've done enough to show you the game so as a first look video i think we've done our job and hopefully it's whet your appetite for this really really nice really chilled out really enjoyable game that's um i, I just think it's really nice i just really like it and uh, i like the kind of polygon look as well so for me this is a massive thumbs up let me know in the comments what you think is this a game that you might be interested in buying as I say, I don't know what the price is, but if it's sort of priced around £15, I think you get an excellent value for money. £15 to £20 even. I, I'd go so far as paying 20 quid for this. I think it's that much fun. It's going to give you that much entertainment over time. And um, I don't know if I've mentioned it or not, but they are going to be allowing some modding. It sounds like I've been talking to people on the Discord, but I'm not sure. Um, exactly how that's going to manifest itself whether it's going to be uh, completely bespoke or whether it's going to be through um, Steam's workshop I cannot say at this point but um, yeah I think the game has huge promise and even as it is now in its early access state I think it's a, an awful lot of fun and um, very enjoyable very relaxed enjoyable game that you can sit and play for hours easily no problem whatsoever so if you'd like to see more sim uk strategy head on over there and uh, i'll be uploading all of my gameplay footage and you can see how well or how badly our resort does but um i'm feeling confident i think we've got the i think we've got the beginner section done rather well uh, and it's now time to start thinking about rather more complex rather more scary slopes so uh come back and watch the next episode if you want to thanks for watching take care goodbye for now